Hi, welcome to Dyker's Farm. Today we're going to build a wooden nuke box. And we're going to talk about why you might want one as a beekeeper. Each nucleus hive comes with everything the bees need to have a successful hive. They come with five frames. The frames will include some, uh, now these are empty frames, but when you get this full of bees, there's going to be some brood, which is baby bees. There's going to be some uh, collection of uh, pollen and honey. And then also, most likely, an empty frame that they're going to be able to build on and expand just in case you cannot get this installed in a larger hive soon enough. A lot of the nuke hives that you order are going to either be cardboard, like this one, or plastic, like this one. Let's take a look inside this box for the unassembled wooden nuke. Let's just see how it's packed and see how we can put it together. It's a pretty simple box. But I want to go through the steps of putting it together and talk a little bit about why we're doing this. The tools that we're going to need, I think, unless I have to run back to the shed, are a screwdriver, in this case a drill, some wood glue, a hammer, and my pink safety scissors. I had to excuse the Golden Sun Beekeeper. It's hard to do a video with him because all we want to do is laugh at each other. Okay, looks like a lot of it's already put together. This would be the lid or the cover this is a migratory uh, style lid or cover migratory just means that it uh, the sides of the lid don't have a lip on it because when they stack the migratory hives together they want to put them as close as they can together because it's not the bees migrating it's people migrating the hives from one place to another so they stack them on pallets and then on trucks and if they have lids that all hang over then that just means over, you know, when you span all those hives, uh, that takes up too much space. So they make these lids with no sides on them. This is a bottom board constructed just like a uh, full size. It's got a deeper side and a more shallow side. Looks like those are the end boards and the side boards. And these are cleats or handles that we're going to mount. There's really not much instructions. It's just a diagram showing how to put it together. Notice on the end boards, this uh, has been cut out on the sides. That's what's going to attach to the side. And then also on the top. When we get that assembled, that is going to be where the frames attach. Notice there's a little space on the edge there for the bees to scoot around. And a little space on the bottom where the bees can scoot around the bottom. On the instruction sheet is a handy dandy little measuring device. You don't actually even need a ruler. So we're going to cut this off and this is just a guideline for us to attach our cleats. So this is the top because it has that edge there. We're going to turn it over. We're going to set that down and put the cleat or the handle on. And this doesn't have to be exactly perfect but the, the better you get it the more happy I think in the end you'll be. Two screws per cleat. right down to the top there, make it flush. And we do have two end boards, so again, put the top. Make sure both tops are the same. And now we have two end boards, both with handles. I'm applying glue to the ends of two, two sides of the same end here. The kit comes with all the nails and screws. So this is a 7D or size 16 nail. And we're just going to kind of center it on that end board and make sure that the back side, what will be the bottom of the hive, is flush. Now we just turn it over and repeat the process on the other side. Just making sure that your tops 
are the same on both sides. It would probably turn out a lot better, a lot cleaner, maybe a little, little straighter if I were using a workbench and clamps and all those things. This does show that with just with just the kit and a few simple tools, you can do this. That was the full assembly of the box because the baseboard and the lid or cover is already assembled. Let's talk about what we have here and why we might want this. Really, this is just like a full-size 10-frame hive, except cut in half. This is a good box to start a hive with. In fact, that's why I ordered them. I'm going to be using this wooden nuke box as a box to start some hive splits. If you stick with me on my beekeeping videos, we're going to take one of the six hives that we have in the back, and we're going to split it in such a way that we hopefully will end up with three hives off of that one hive. Another reason that I would like to have a wooden box, and for this purpose, I'm going to want that to be secured. I'm going to want the base to be um, permanently mounted to the box. When Espen and I are out collecting honey from the six hives, sometimes I think it would be very useful or, or nice to just be able to take individual frames out and put them in a wooden box. We've used the plastic and cardboard boxes for this, but it's just not very nice. It's kind of floppy and messy. So if we have several hives that have four or five full frames of honey, we can take those out individually and put them in a wooden box and carry them indoors without the mess of the plastic or cardboard box. This will just be a little neater, a little more sturdy, easier to control. And a full size 10 frame box with this size frame, all full of honey, can be very heavy, 100 pounds or more sometimes. So if you can take several frames out and put them in a smaller box and manage them that way, it's a lot easier on your back. If this is your first time with me and you'd like to keep up with what's going on here on the Daddy Curbs farm, you can hit the subscribe button and YouTube will send you an email every time I update my content. I'd like to give a special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for investing in me, helping me share this message and sharing this journey. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that I have something good going on here. And remember, the greatest gift you can give any creator is to share their content. I would consider it a true blessing for you to share this video with your friends and family. Thanks again for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. You got it this time. Go. It's hard to do video with Espen. Because he does this. Mm -hmm. I don't do it on purpose. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to sit here and resist. I'm not. This is a 10 minute... Go away. <laughs> All the way. Go inside. <laughs>